The Kraft Foods Company presents The Great Gildersleeve. Uh. <laughs> it's The Great Gildersleeve, starring Harold Perry, brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company, makers of a complete line of famous quality food products. Well, if it ain't the kid himself. Uh, greetings, Floyd. Hi, Commissioner. Well, I could do with a little haircut, Floyd. I'm kind of shaggy in back. Well, I'm afraid I couldn't take you right now, Commissioner. If you'd like to come back... What do you mean you can't take me? There's nobody here. I got an appointment. What do you mean, appointment? With a customer. He called up. Since when do you have to have an appointment in this broken-down emporium? Now, don't give me any of that nonsense. Hand me one of those magazines there. You can sit there if you want to, Commissioner, but I'll have to ask you to get out of the chair when Mr. Bullard comes. Now, now, take it easy. Listen, my fine feathered friend. How would you like it if I were to take my trade someplace else? Okay with me. If you don't care how you look. (laughs) You're not the best barber in the world, you know. I ain't the worst. He's down the street there. Floyd, are you going to cut my hair or aren't you? All right. I'll just sit here. Oh, Commissioner, you ain't going to be a dog in the manger. I'm now. not budging out of this chair for Bullard or anybody else. Least of all, Bullard, the big four flesher. Now listen, Bullard may be a four flesher, but when it comes to tips, at least he don't. Keep... Yeah, hello, Mr. Bullard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just talking about you, Mr. Gildersleeve and me. Oh, good afternoon, Gildersleeve. How do you do? All ready for you, Mr. Bullard. Yes, sir. No waiting. Come on, Commissioner, hop down. I got here first. Oh, finish up with Mr. Gildersleeve first. I'm in no hurry. Oh, no, 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 no. I ain't even started on him. He didn't have an appointment anyway. That's all right. I was late for mine. Go ahead. I'll wait. Uh, well, I... First come, first served. It's only fair. Well, that's very nice of you, Mr. Bullard, but I couldn't No, pick... no, no. Keep the chair. Oh, but I insist. No, no, I insist. But you had an appointment. But you were here first. Either of you gents interested in a haircut? <laughs> Take him first, Floyd. Well, thanks very much, Bullard. Very decent of you. Just make it a quick trim, Floyd. Uh-huh. We don't want to keep Mr. Bullard waiting. Relax, Commissioner. I ain't going to tickle you. Is that too tight? No. How have you been, mister? It is a little tight, Floyd. Yeah. Uh, how have you been, Mr. Bullard? How are things over at your house? Oh, having a little trouble. Oh? Sorry to hear that. I hope it's nothing. Uh... No, no. Same old problem. Servants. It's a terrible problem. I don't know what we're going to do. Problem for the whole country. Servants are getting out of hand these days. You said it. Barbers, too. Ow! Huh? Watch it, Floyd. Now, we had a girl, a cook. Well, you know her, Gildersleeve. You got her for us. Friend of your girl's. Not Lily Bee. Was that her name? I never did learn what it was. Well, anyway, she walked out on us this morning. For no reason at all. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that about Lily Bee. We were giving her Thursdays off and every other Sunday. But just because Mrs. Bullard asked her to wash out a few things, well, it's the way with all of them. You can't do enough for them. It's a problem, all right. Of course, Mrs. Bullard doesn't know the first thing about cooking. She's never done anything that sort herself. Well, tell you what you do. Why don't you and your wife come over to our house for dinner? Tonight? Sure. Oh, we couldn't do that. Nah, nah. Why not? Oh, it's too late. Tomorrow night, then. Tomorrow night. Well, I don't know. Nonsense. Love to have you. You have no cook. We have Bertie. Why not? Well, I don't know if Mrs. Bullard would feel right about leaving little Craig at home alone. Oh, uh, bring little Craig along. Love to have him. You're uh, sure it wouldn't be too much Not about... at all. Bertie loves company. The more, the merrier. Anybody home? Yeah. Bertie? Out in the kitchen, I guess. Must be somebody out there with it. You know something, Lily B. You're crazy. I don't care. That's what I told him. Uh, Lily B. <laughs> What's Lily B. doing hanging around here? Well, I'll just go out there and show her what I think of her. Well, that's the way it is with some folks, I guess. You can't do enough for them. Only thing to... Good evening, Miss Gilsley. Hey, good evening, Bertie. Uh, Lily B? Evening, sir. Bertie? Yes, sir? Uh, good evening. I 
kiss I showed her. Oh? What's that girl hanging around here for? Hope she isn't putting ideas in our Bertie's head. Maybe I'd better have a talk with Bertie. Better hurry, Leroy. You'll be late for school. Goodbye, Young. Don't forget to take your lunch, Leroy. I got it. Don't slam me. That's the use. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Bertie, I've been meaning to talk to you. Are you, uh, are you happy these days, Bertie? Sure, I guess so. Why, Mr. Gilsley? Everything's all right here, is it? I mean, you're satisfied with everything? Your life here? Mr. Gilsey, do you know anybody that's satisfied? <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. You're quite a philosopher, Bertie, as well as a wonderful cook. What I mean is, well... I, uh, hmm. I noticed Lily Bee out in the kitchen with you last night. Yes, that was Lily Bee. She, um, left the Bullards, I understand. Yes, sir, she left. Hmm. Some, uh, misunderstanding, I presume? Yes, sir, there was some of that. I see. <laughs> they was piling it on to her too much. Lily Bee got herself a good job now. Oh, Running an elevator. Don't have to go to work until after breakfast. Gets to go home at 6 o'clock. Saturdays and Sundays off. Gets two weeks vacation in the summer with pay. And the pay is good, too. Uh, well, that kind of job never lasts, Bertie. Must be pretty easy work, driving the elevator. Uh, awfully monotonous. You'd go crazy doing that kind of work, Bertie. Well, as long as I'm going crazy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oop, late. Got to be getting down to the office. Uh, see you at dinner, Bertie. Oh, uh, by the way. Oh, uh, yes, I almost forgot. Uh, speaking of dinner, Bertie, oh, that would have been terrible. Uh, what was it you almost forgot? Slipped my mind completely. Yes, I should have mentioned it before, but I am... Uh, uh, dinner, Bertie. Yes, sir? Um, I seem to have invited some people. The Bullards. Uh, now, no, don't get excited, Bertie. I, I know we've had a lot of company lately, but this is different. You see, the Bullards, uh, your friend Lily Bee walked out on them. Uh, blame Lily Bee. Lily Bee didn't walk out on them. They took advantage. They had her doing the laundry on top of everything else when they told her she wouldn't have to. Well, whatever it was. I don't blame Lily Bee. Had her working all summer long without any vacation. And then asked her to do the laundry, too. I'd quit myself if folks took advantage like that. <laughs> Cooking and house cleaning. That's hard work. Folks don't realize. Yeah, all right, all right. We won't have the Bullards over, Bertie. I'll call it off. I don't mind having folks to dinner, Mr. Gill, sleep as long as you tell me. Yeah, I know, Bertie, I know. I should have told you before. It slipped my mind. Uh, forget it. Well, as long as you ask. Uh, no, Bertie, I wouldn't think of it. You're tired. You've done too much. You know what I think? I think you ought to take a vacation. Mr. Gill, sleep, what would I want with a vacation now? Well, you only had one week. All summer long, practically cooking and, well, house cleaning. That's hard work. Yes, sir. And don't think I don't appreciate it, Bertie. I think you ought to take a week off right now. But, Mr. Gillsleeve, I ain't got no place to go. Well, don't go any place then. Stay here. Stay in your room. Sleep late. Enjoy yourself. The children and I will do the work. We'll get along. But, Mr. Gillsleeve, you ain't thinking of... Now, I'll... now, Bertie, do as I say. Well, what about the bullards? You got them coming... Hang to... the bullards. I'll take them out to dinner. You're on vacation, understand? You mean beginning now? Beginning right now. Well, you might just clean up the breakfast dishes first. <laughs> Marjorie, tell Leroy to wipe his chin. Well, this has certainly been a most enjoyable evening, Gildersleeve. Hasn't it, my dear? Yes, indeed. Well, I think it's been terrible. I'll never come here again. Oh, I don't think it's half bad. Do you, my dear? No, it's not half bad. Craig, darling, you haven't eaten your dessert. It's no good. Oh, you mustn't say that. Why, it, it's delicious. Craig? Mr. Gildersleeve will think you're ungrateful. Oh, that lovely pudding. I don't want it. I'm eating mine, Craigie. See? I always eat my food, don't I, young? <laughs> Watch me, Craig. 
Yum, yum. See, I ate every bit of it. You can eat mine, too. Here. Oh, no, no, Craig. That's yours. Now, do as I don't said. want it. <laughs> don't make the boy eat it if he doesn't want it. <laughs> Guess we're all through, aren't we? Uh, waiter, check. I'll take that check, waiter. Just give it to me. Oh, no, you don't. Here. Oh, but I insist. No, no, I invited you. <laughs> Let go now. Please, it's mine. Uh, 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 you'll tear it. Look out the water. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Bullard. Did you get any of it on you? Just uh, here and there. Here, take my napkin. Rumson, darling, if Mr. Gildersleeve wants the check, let him have it. Well, if you insist. Of course, of course. Let's see here now. What the... She? <laughs> Marjorie, have you got any money on you? Not a cent. Oh, brother. Leroy, have you? Have I what? <laughs> have you got any money? Where would I get any money? What's wrong? Can I, uh... <laughs> well, thanks. I guess I'll have to let you help me out here a little bit, if you will. And my other pants or something. <laughs> Why, certainly, I, uh... Darling, have you any money with you? Money? Well, let me look in my bag. That's silly of me, coming off without my money. I've got plenty at home. Silly of me, too. How much do you need? Uh, how much is the check, Gildersleeve? Uh, well, uh, ten dollars would make it. I've got ten myself. Gracious. Prices have certainly gone up here, haven't they? Yes, they have. Well, there you are. Thanks. I'll return the money right away, Mr. Bullard. I'll send Leroy over with it in the morning. Oh, no hurry. Any time. Well, it's been a great pleasure, folks. Shall we go? Yes, it's just as I was saying. Prices may have risen a little, but give them time. Oh, by the way, thank you for the dinner. Oh, the pleasure was mine. Yes, it's a low supply and demand. The big four-flusher. How do you like the way you outfumbled me on that check? <laughs> It's really a pleasure to give homemakers such good news. Your holiday salads can once again be topped with the famous mayonnaise good hostesses prefer. Kraft Kitchen Fresh Mayonnaise. Yes, although Miracle Whip salad dressing is still fairly hard to get because of the sugar shortage, Kraft Kitchen Fresh Mayonnaise is back and in reasonable quantity. Since the supply of fine salad oil is becoming more plentiful, Kraft can now make a fair amount of this superior mayonnaise and shipments are going out every day. Look for it at your dealers. He should have some soon, if not already. With its delicate flavor, its rich homemade goodness, Kraft Kitchen Fresh Mayonnaise does wonderful things for any salad. Only choice ingredients go into it. Fine salad oil, selected eggs, fragrant vinegar and spices. And for the final crowning touch, fresh lemon juice is added. No wonder Kraft Mayonnaise has such delicate, perfect flavor. As for texture, well, that, too, is something you could never accomplish in your own kitchen. A special beater patented by Kraft gives Kraft mayonnaise a surpassing creamy smoothness. You'll never bother to make your own as long as you can get Kraft Kitchen Fresh Mayonnaise. Now let's get back to the great Gildersleeve, who is facing the problem of Bertie's vacation like a true executive. That is, he has assigned duties to each member of the family, reserving the supervisory chores for himself. Leroy, it happens, has been assigned breakfast the first day. Leroy, for heaven's sake, Bertie's asleep. Let her enjoy the rest. I forgot. Well, anyhow, breakfast is all ready. Quiet, I'll be right down. Uh, you ready, Marjorie? Coming. Uh, Leroy's been pretty industrious about this. He's been down there in the kitchen for over an hour. An hour? Yeah, I heard him banging around down there. Shows a good spirit. Uh, we must remember to give him credit, my dear. Okay. Welcome to the feast, Unc. Look, doesn't the table look super? Huh? What the... Leroy, a lace tablecloth for breakfast. <laughs> That's all right. Looks magnificent, my boy. Just like a banquet. That's what you're going to have, folks. Kindly be seated. Well, uh... Orange juice. I squeezed a heck of a lot of orange juice to make that. Tastes good, doesn't it? Delicious. Delicious. Mm, you're supposed to strain out the seeds, my boy. Yeah? It doesn't matter this time. Well, drink it up. I'll bring in the rest of the stuff. <laughs> Little Leroy. Your brother's really done a job, my dear. I never expected anything like this from Leroy. Hey, wait! Wait till you see this. Scramble. 
scrambled eggs for you and you. Leroy, they're wonderful. Never saw better. Thanks. Well, it'll start in. I'll get the toast. How did he ever make... Amazing. They're cold, but what's the difference? That's what I say. The toast got burnt a little, but I scraped it off. Fine, fine. Go to it while I bring in the coffee. Coffee? Didn't know I could make coffee, did you? Well, I looked it up in the cookbook. It's a sin. <laughs> well, what do you know? The eggs are cold, all right. Uh, I'll eat them anyway. We'll have to show him we appreciate what he's done. Oh, sure. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, coffee. Have some, Monk. Yes, indeed, my boy. Coming at you. Looks nice and black, don't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> sure does. Well, I didn't want it two weeks, so I put in a little more than it said. Oh. Well, you've done a fine job, my boy. Now sit down and eat something yourself. Are you kidding? I had mine half an hour ago. I made my lunch, too. Two sandwiches and a piece of stale cake I found out there. I guess Bertie was saving it for me. Well, yeah, that's all right. What kind of sandwiches? Peanut butter and jelly. They're very nourishing. Well, i got to get going. What's your hurry? It's late. It's about a quarter to nine. Oh, gosh, I've got to go, too. Aren't you going to finish your eggs? How can I? I'll be late. Uh, they're delicious, Leroy, honestly. Yes, they <laughs> certainly are. <laughs> Leroy, seeing you did such a wonderful job on the breakfast, I'm willing to tackle a supper. How's that? Uh, that's the spirit. Well, run along, children. Okay, goodbye, Aunt. Bye, Aunt. Yeah, goodbye. Hey, wait, March. Well, guess I'm stuck with the dishes. <laughs> Holy jumping Jehoshaphat. Look at this kitchen. Orange peels, egg shells, milk bottles. Where did he put that cap that goes on this thing? What did he use all these pots and pans for? Oh, what's this? Oh, an unsuccessful batch of eggs, I guess. <laughs> Peanut butter, jelly. Now, how could he spill jelly all over the stove? Left everything wide open. Oh. Darn kid, he's got to learn. Well, better get this thing cleaned up or he won't be able to fix any supper. Pigsty. Where are the dickens of the dish towels, I wonder? Uh, nuts. Oh, Bertie! Bertie! Yes. Sorry to disturb you, Bertie, but where do you keep the dish towels? No, no, Bertie, you enjoy your rest. Side of Ali. <laughs> yep, here they are. <laughs> Never would have looked there in a million years. Now, where'd I put that darn plate? Oh, yes. Well. <laughs> where the devil does she keep the broom? Yeah. Broom closet, I suppose. But if we got a broom closet. Nuts. Bertie! Sorry to bother you. Where do you keep the broom? I'll be right down, Mr. Gilson. No, no, just tell me where you keep it. You don't need to come down, Bertie. You're supposed to be taking life easy. Oh, that's all right. I'm coming down anyway. Don't show me, Bertie. Just tell me. It's next to the laundry tubs. Oh, tubs. Well, thanks. Should have looked there, I guess. I better help you clean up a little, Mr. Gilson. No, I insist, Bertie. I see you're all dressed up to go out. I won't even allow you in the kitchen. I don't like leaving you cleaning up, Mr. Gilsley. Well, it's nothing, Bertie. Leroy took care of everything this morning. I'll have everything spotless in five minutes. Well, if you should. Sure. Absolutely. How do you like your vacation so far, Bertie? It's fine so far. I'm going downtown to look around and maybe go to a movie this afternoon. That's the stuff. Well, have a good time. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Gilsley. Uh, goodbye, Bertie. She. <laughs> Well, 
Well, Mr. Gildersleeve, what can I do for you this evening? I see you brought your family with you. Yeah, sit down, Leroy. Sit down, Marjorie. Good evening, Marjorie. Leroy. Hi. We haven't had any supper, Peavy. Can you fix us up with something? I can give you something to eat, but I wouldn't exactly call it supper. Well, I'm in no mood to quibble. What have you got to eat, besides drugs? Well, I'm in a position to offer you a choice of sandwiches. Sandwiches. Well, a choice, you say? What kind of sandwiches do you have? Uh, liverwurst. I hate liverwurst. So do I. Finicky. What are the other kinds, Peavy? We you just have the liverwurst. <laughs> you said you had a choice. Well, we have it on the white or the whole wheat. <laughs> and that's all? Uh, that's all in the sandwiches, yes, sir. What else have you got? Mm, ice cream, soft drinks. Mm, I'm afraid that's the extent of the menu, Mr. Gildersleeve. Unless you'd care for a few vitamin tablets. You <laughs> Confounded, Peavy, I should think you'd either run a sandwich counter or not run it. This is the worst place to eat in town. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, it is. I only operate it as a convenience for my customers. Convenience? Some convenience. Well, let's have three liverwurst sandwiches. On whole wheat. Three liverwurst sandwiches it shall be. I very rarely have a whole family drop in like this for dinner. It's quite an occasion. What's the matter, Bertie sick? No, she's taking a vacation. Oh, that's nice. Nice time of year for it. Yes, yes. Do you folks think you'll be coming here for supper every night while she's having her holiday? Heaven forbid, Peavy. Well, I just thought if I could count on it, I might get in a little ham. Cheese, maybe. We're going to do our eating at home, mostly. As a matter of fact, we plan to have supper at home tonight, only, well, we decided not to. No. Unc burned the lamb chops. I did not. Marjorie was supposed to be in charge of getting supper. I asked you to watch the chops for a few minutes while I set the table. Well, I... I worked two whole hours trying to make a nice supper, and you spoiled the whole thing. Marjorie, I... <laughs> What happened? Chops catch fire? Burnt to a cinder. Two dollars worth of lamb chops. Yeah, here we are. Three never worth sandwiches. Kitchen's a mess. Soot all over everything. How did the potatoes get all over the floor? I pulled them out so they wouldn't burn up. And then Unc stepped on them. I only said... <laughs> I only stepped on one. Eat your sandwich. Just for lunch. I don't want it. Couldn't I just have a chocolate sundae instead? You'll get no chocolate sundae until you've eaten that sandwich, and maybe not then. And hurry up. You've got a lot of work to do when you get home. Hey, care for a paper napkin, Leroy? No, thanks. Take it. Okay. <laughs> Door's locked. I'm cold. I told you not to eat ice cream. But I was starving. I still am. I'm cold, too. Wash the dishes. You'll get warm. I'll wipe. Uh, what's that? Bertie, you don't suppose... Bertie, you shouldn't have done it. Good evening, Mr. Gillsleeve. I shouldn't have done what? Well, the mess we left here. Oh, that didn't take no time at all. I was fixing myself a little something to eat, so I just thought I'd straighten up. Gosh, Bertie, what you eating? Sure smells good. Leroy. <laughs> I just thought if she had a lot of it, whatever it is. Plenty of it. I just warmed up that stew in the icebox. You want some? Don't move, Bertie. Don't move a muscle. Get some plates, Leroy. Okay. Slice some bread, Marjorie. Okay. Bertie, you've saved our lives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a fact, Bertie. It's a fact. Mm, my goodness, that stew smells simply wonderful. You mean to tell me that was in the icebox the whole time, Bertie? Yes, sir. Uh, it's all in knowing where things are. Now, here we burn up $2 worth of lamb chops trying to get dinner when all the time... 
Bertie, what are you doing eating all alone here? You should be out having fun. Where? Well, this is your vacation, for heaven's sake. Aren't you enjoying it? Well, it's pretty good. The only thing is, none of my friends is having a vacation, so it's kind of lonesome just loafing around by myself. Bertie, would you rather come back to work and have an extra week's pay? With Christmas coming on? Are you kidding? <laughs> Relax, everybody. We eat. <laughs> The great Gildersleeve will be with us again in a few moments. Compliments on the salad you serve, even from the most particular of guests, are easy when those salads are made with famous Kraft mayonnaise. So it's good news I have for you homemakers. This truly superb kitchen fresh mayonnaise made by Kraft is once again available and in reasonable quantity. The supply of fine salad oil is becoming more plentiful, and Kraft can make some. Not all we'd like, of course, but a fair supply of the mayonnaise you've been waiting for, Kraft Kitchen Fresh Mayonnaise. With its rich, homemade goodness, its delicate, perfect flavor, Kraft Mayonnaise is far superior because of the choice ingredients that go into it. Fine salad oil, selected eggs, fragrant vinegar and spices, and as a final touch of perfection, fresh lemon juice is added. Another thing you'll notice is its marvelous texture. A special beater patented by Kraft gives Kraft mayonnaise surpassing smoothness, gives it a velvet creaminess hard to duplicate. We're proud to be able to tell you Kraft Kitchen Fresh Mayonnaise is again available. <laughs> Judge Hooker, come on in. Should have come earlier, Horace. We had the most wonderful, delicious stew for dinner. Well, I've dined, thank you. I was just passing by, but I had an idea. Yeah? What's that? Well, it's scarcely four weeks now till Christmas, you know. Hmm, <laughs> Christmas. Going to be a problem this year for everybody with prices so high and all. And I thought to myself, why don't we just keep Christmas for the children? Why don't you and I agree not to give each other any presents this year? I think that's a very good idea. Just shake hands and wish each other a Merry Christmas and let it go with that. Great. It's agreed, then? It's a deal. Shake on it? Yes, yeah, shake. Fine. Well, that's that. I'll be running along. Okay. No double crossing now. Remember, I don't give you a present and you don't give me a present. That's right, Horace. Yeah, good night. Good night. Nuts. I guess I've got to get the old goat a present. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas presents, I'll tell you what I'm giving this year. An album of phonograph records. Just the thing for kids and for old goats, too. Good for everybody. The album is called, uh... <laughs> oh, shucks, I can't say it. The album is called Stories for Children Told by the Great Gildersleeve. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much, Mr. Lang. You know, we made an album of children's stories last year. This is a new one. The Brave Little Tailor and Hansel and Gretel. Uh, let's put it this way. It's no worse than any other album. <laughs> Good night, folks. The Great Gildersleeve is played by Harold Perry. It is written by John Whedon and Sam Moore. The music is by Jack Meekin. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley as Leroy, Louise Erickson as Marjorie, and Lillian Randolph as Bertie. Judge Hooker is Earl Ross, and Richard Legrand is Mr. Peavy. This is John Lang saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company and inviting you to listen in again next Wednesday for the further adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. It's a treat that's always surefire with the whole family. Ice cream made with Frizz, the new Kraft product. Yes, Frizz makes delicious, velvety, smooth ice cream right in your own refrigerator. Real ice cream, rich with plenty of milk and cream. Just add water, a little sugar, and freeze according to directions on the package. Add fruit juice, flavoring, or coffee for variations from vanilla. Frizz is made by an exclusive process that retains the fresh cream flavor. Ask your grocer for Frizz, F-R-I-Z-Z. -Z, six generous servings from one package. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.